a good day everyone! It's me again, Shang Aitihug, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video is we're going to do or demonstrate science activity. And if you are new here, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and tap the notification bell and select all to be notified to my latest and updated videos. So, let's begin, mga ka Shanghai. And for today's video, I will going to do the activity to find out the shape of the shadow. And for this video materials, we need we have first our flashlight, second, our spherical objects, one big and one small, and also our 12-inch ruler. So, by using these materials, we can find out what is the shape of the shadow. So, let's begin. Let's do this. Note, perform this activity in a dark room or during night time. Procedure. Align the flashlight and the balls horizontally. Point the flashlight to one of the balls. Observe the shadow it cast on the ball behind it. Activity set up. Flashlight to small ball, 5 inches apart. Small ball to big ball, 3 inches apart. Question. What is the shape of the shadow? Answer number one. The shape of the shadow behind the small ball is a round shape, while the big ball behind of it is also a round shape. In what way does this simple activity support Aristotle's claim about the shape of the earth? Answer number two. This simple activity supports Aristotle's claim about the shape of the earth. When we see the result of our activity that the shape is round. According to Greek philosopher Aristotle, the father of natural science, he said, As it is the shapes which the moon itself each month shows are of every kind straight, gibbous, and concave, but in eclipse, the outline is always curved. And since it is the interposition of the earth that makes the eclipse, the form of this line will be accused by the form of the Earth's surface, which is therefore spherical. Mostly people and believed the Earth was flat, but he did not agree. Also, he observed the North Star and the ship sailing into port, and that is how he concluded that the Earth is spherical or round shape. Suppose that the Earth is heart shape. What shadow would it form when sunlight aligned with it and why? Answer number three. If the Earth is a heart shape, then the shadow will also form a heart shape. Because when the light hit the heart shape, the excess light will form on the back or behind of it of the shape heart shape will be the same shape. So this is the end of my video. Thank you for watching and listening. Have a good day everyone and God bless.